Hey everybody, it's Brandon again. So uh, today we're trying something quite a bit different than normal. Um, instead of my normal recording setup where I do all the screen recording from my laptop, which is right here, what I did is I, uh, I dug out my old HDMI capture device and plugged it into my computer and I plugged the laptop's output into that and I'm recording it from my computer. So I got my computer camera over here, the laptop over here, and I'm looking at my secondary screen here. So we'll see if I can figure it all out. Uh, let me know in the comments if it looks any better or worse or if you want me to go back to the old way. But uh, I thought this might be an interesting way to do the videos. But one thing I wanted to do, uh, look at today, I n mentioned in my last video that on Chrome OS Flex version 103 that updated the terminal. And so what I wanted to do, oh, I'm in the way. <clears throat> Move myself over here. What I wanted to do is take a look at some of the new features of the terminal. And we're going to do that right now. So first of all, you see the Linux section here, and I got Penguin, apparently, and I'm going to click on Manage, and go to Linux Development Environment, get this mouse out of here, um, well, I don't see it, I thought you could have multiple Linux containers instead of just one, uh, maybe I'm wrong on that. If I'm just not seeing it, let me know in the comments. I was under the impression that you can now have more than one Linux container on your device. Uh, if that's not the case, then oh well. But anyway, if you click on Penguin, you end up going to your regular terminal here, which is just like it's always been. So, yeah, that will pop up in a second. And so when you're wanting to use Linux... Uh, you click on that penguin thing and you get back to your normal deal. Let me close that tab out. That's fine. Now we have SSH connections, secure shell connections, which is pretty handy. Um, I'm going to go ahead and type in uh, my credentials for just a computer that I have in the uh, office here. Let's see, it's going to be BA Stecklin at 192.168.0.154. Let's see if I can connect. Yes. And I'll put in my password. And so this is kind of neat. It's kind of just a quick way to get a secure shell up and going. Right here, built into your terminal. And so, oh, I didn't want to open a new tab of that. So I'm going to go ahead and exit. Yes, exit. And so I'm guessing all your connections that you normally do, uh, you could just have predetermined in here and um, just click on them. It would be an easier way than just type in SSH, whatever you want to do. So that's a cool new feature on this. And then down here we have uh, terminal settings. And you can do some cool customizations with the appearance. Like if you want a light theme. Let me open a penguin tab so we can see what that looks like. I have classic, which I don't know how much different classic is. Solarized dark, solarized light, dusk, haze, forest, and then it looks like you can kind of customize it yourself. Image? I don't, I really don't have any images on this computer, but I'm guessing uh, you can have a background picture on your terminal. That's pretty neat. You can change the font, font size, font color. Oh, I don't tell the difference from the anti aliasing there. Uh, cursor shape. And all sorts of stuff. I wonder if you can make it transparent. <coughs> I don't see that. But maybe Chrome OS doesn't support transparent windows. I might uh, stick with the dark one. Let's see, you got a keyboard and mouse. Oh, there's a bunch of settings here. Can keyboard shortcuts, new window, new tab, close window, etc. So there's a bunch of cool stuff. What's behavior have for us? Bell? What's Bell do? I don't know. Show dimensions with resized. That's kind of handy. That'll tell us how big our window is. Close window on exit. Yeah, create desktop notifications for alert bells. Anyway, secure shell. Click on that, nothing happens. I don't know why. Then we have about and just link to whatever licenses it's using. I don't know what the secure shell thing's supposed to do. It does not seem to be working. I wonder if it works when I actually 
him in a secure shell connection. No. Nope. What if I quit out of that? What's this do? Now go to settings again. SSH. Oh, there we go. Oh, this just shows you your known host file and your configuration file. So I guess you can make edits to it right there if you wanted. So that's neat. So anyway, <coughs> here's a new terminal application on Chrome OS Flex. I think it's quite an upgrade. It kind of brings it up to par with uh, a terminal you'd find on a Linux distribution. So I think this is really cool. Uh, if you're someone who's using Linux a lot or the terminal a lot, it's nice to have all these extra settings. If you're a web developer, these secure shell settings are actually pretty handy to have. You can have all your servers right there and ready to go in one click. So I think this is really cool. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments. If you found some other features with the terminal that you like, let me know. And uh, let me know if the video quality here is any better or worse than normal. Just on my preview here, it kind of looks like the text might be a little fuzzier. Maybe I can clean that up a little bit. I have to play with it. I don't know. But anyway, that's it for today's video. Thank you for watching. Let me know what else you'd like to see in the comments. And until next time, why I hope you all have a good day. Bye now.